welcome to Abby's house. Abby is the chief pearl knotter for the Pearl Girls, and today she's going to teach you how to knot pearls. Hello, I'm Abby Tankersley, and I work with the Pearl Girls, and I am going to show you today how to hand tie a 18-inch necklace that is a size 9 millimeter. And today I'm going to go ahead and show you my supplies. First, we're going to start out with our thread. And you always want to match your thread with whatever color pearls that you're doing. And we're doing a pinkish mauve color. And so that's the color you're going to see me use. And this thread is a um, natural silk thread. And it's cool because it has a little needle on the end. And that helps you to put your pearls on easier. And that's what it looks like in the package. You can usually get about three or four necklaces out of one package of that. The next supply I'll show you is called French Wire. And this is awesome because it protects your thread um, when the necklace is on, it t protects it from uh, breaking after you've been pulling on it or taking it on and off. And you cut that into small pieces and you only use about a fourth of an inch um, for each end of your necklace. And then our clasp is a swivel crystal clasp. And then you'll see that in detail a little bit later. We have to have our super glue to, um, to secure our knots better for our long lasting. And then we have our needle nose pliers and just some fingernail clippers and a pair of tweezers. So that's also all our supplies that we're going to use today. All right, so the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to find your smallest pearl out of the bunch of pearls that you're going to be knotting. And so I've already found two that have um, pretty large holes that are going to work um, for the first pearl. So you're just going to lace it on and you're going to pull it all the way to the end. Now for time's sake, I'm just going to show you the beginning of this necklace, um, but the beginning and the end is exactly the same. The way you finish the necklace is the same as the way you begin the necklace. So you've got your first pearl on. Then I mentioned earlier that we use the French wire. So it's just a fourth of an inch. You cut a piece. It's basically like a small coil, and you put that on there. You slide it on, and you're going to slide it all the way to the end. Okay, then you're going to get your needle again, and then you're going to lace on your clasp. Alright, this is the probably the hardest part of pearl knotting, because sometimes this does not go very smoothly, but we're going to give it a shot. So you put this back, going back backwards through that first pearl. And the reason you do this and not tie the knot at the very end is because this is going to be more of a secure knot. So it kind of gets stuck sometimes, especially if this is a new piece of thread. That's why I have my pliers, and sometimes you have to give it a tug. All right, I got lucky that time because it went straight through. Sometimes it'll break and you have to start over because once the needle falls off, the thread's no longer good. Sometimes it starts getting tangled at the end. All right, if you can see, you have your French wire right there. And you want to get that, and sometimes you have to use your pliers, and you want to get that until it completely wraps around and forms like a little circle around your clasp, and that protects your thread. Then you're just going to tie single knots. When you hand tie pearls, you don't do double knots, you just do single knots. You pull it real tight, and this is where I start with the super glue. You have to be very careful with super glue because you do not want to super glue the pearls. Um, I found this crazy glue, I think, at Walmart, and it has a little precision tip and just make sure it's working good. What was earlier? Okay, just pretend. And then you're going to put a little glue on the tip of your knot. And that's going to just hold that knot in place. And if you get any excess on the pearl, just be sure to wipe it off immediately and it usually doesn't make a mark. Okay, and I don't cut mine right away. I let that dry for a second and now you're ready to start hand tying and this is the easy part. It goes pretty quickly. So when you're hand tying a, a necklace or a bracelet, you always want to start with your smallest pearls at the ends and so I usually pull out maybe five or six small pearls. And then you usually want to get your larger pearls in the middle. Okay, so my glue is probably dry now. The reason you want that dry is you don't want this pearl sticking to the other pearl. 
And if something happened and you had to cut it apart, you don't want um, the glue to be inside the holes of the pearl. So, sorry, I did that a little fast. So you're gonna lace your pearl on, pull it tight. I just loop around my fingers. Now this is a long piece of thread. If you use this for your second necklace, it's gonna be a lot shorter and a lot easier to work with. All right, this is how I do it. I pinch right at the, the um, base of the pearl. Make sure it's snug up against the pearl before it. And then you pull. All right, then I make sure it's really tight by doing like this and pushing it. Now I've broke many necklaces before after I finish the whole thing by doing that and pulling too hard. So that's your second pearl on. That's what we're going to do from here on out. So you just lace it on. And sometimes I'll just kind of make sure it's on there tight and kind of um, just jiggle it back and forth and make sure that pearl that I just tied is super tight. One thing you don't want is loose pearls and they will loosen up over time so that's why it's so important to get them very tight as you're tying. And if you were to break right there you would have to start all the way over again. So I usually do about five pearls and then I just start grabbing random pearls. Now some people lay their pearls out in a line and make sure the largest ones are in the middle. I had to do that when I first started hand tying, but I've been doing this for a long time now, so I can usually just, just pick the ones that I think are best at the certain spots along the necklace. So since I'm still near the end, when I'm looking for my next pearl, I do want to get one that's still on the small side, but not the smallest ones in there. So you just lace them on your needle, pull it down, make your loop, pinch at the base, and then pull that till it's almost tight. You don't want to pull it all the way tight right there because if you look right there, that's too much space between, and that's when you would have to start all the way over. So you give it just a little bit of wiggle room and then you tighten it like that. All right, how many more do you want me to do? Just keep going. All right, I'm gonna speed up now, back to my normal speed. Just so you get an idea of how it goes once I get started. Okay, I've decided just to do a bracelet today so you can see the end result and how you end the bracelet because it's a little different, not much different. Got a few more pearls to go and now I've already started tapering the size back off to my smaller pearls in the set. Got one more to tie after this. And the last two pearls that you're going to do, you're not going to tie on. I'll show you what you do with those. And then I always measure out to make sure I know how many pearls it's going to take. I'm doing a seven and a half. Got one more to go and then we're going to start ending this bracelet. Okay, so the last two pearls you lace on side by side. The reason you do this is because you're going to go back through your French wire like you did on the other end, and then you're going to send your thread back through that last pearl into your knot right there. So you wouldn't want to do a knot and then have to go back through it because it would be a double knot and that knot would be bigger than all the other knots. So I laced my last two pearls on. Now I'm going to go ahead with another small piece of French wire. Remember this just protects the thread. Okay. Alright, you're going to lace your other end of your clasp on. I'll go ahead and undo this so you can see.
when you're using French wire, there's different um, sizes that you can use. You want to make sure it's not too much bigger than the thread you're using and it's going to be able to fit through your clasp. So this is kind of the hard part again. You're only going to go backwards through that last pearl and this is where it gets really tight. And this is why you have to use smaller thread. If you use too thick a thread, you wouldn't be able to do this. Alright, good luck there. You're going to pull that. Alright, you're going to go ahead and butt that right up against the other pearl. Now as you slide, you can see it's going to start going backwards again. Just keep pulling it tight. Alright, there's your little tiny piece of French wire. I usually pull it right up against the pearl. I don't like a whole lot of slack left when I'm doing this part because this is where the whole thing can not work out so well. So then I usually go ahead and put my clasp on, pull it over the French wire, and then I kind of bend like that so it knows its place. And then you kind of hold it all there together so it doesn't slide around. And then you still got to pull the slack out. And you're going to use your pliers. Okay, you kind of got to do it quick. And you push it back up again. See, I got a little bit more slack left. I got to get out. I've done this before, and sometimes it'll break right there. So this was a good one. Just make sure all the slack is out. All right, so remember a few seconds ago, or a few minutes ago, we did not tie that last pearl on because we're going to tie it right here for your final knot. Pull it tight, then I get my tweezers, and I try to get up in there close and pull it real tight. And try not to break the thread because if you break it right there, you, it could start fraying before you can glue it. Clip it and you're going to use your glue again and you're just going to glue it down and try not to get it on the pearl. And the last thing you do is you just clip it off. That's why I use these tiny fingernail clippers because they can get right up to the knot. Just make sure you don't cut the knot because if you do that, the whole thing's going to come undone. Okay. And then you can go back and do this one now that it's dried. The glue also makes the thread really stiff and it makes it easier to cut. And sometimes I'll touch it up with a little bit more glue if it looks frayed a little bit and kind of clean it up a little bit. So there you go.